we are living in the last days, right? You know, as we eagerly awaiting the coming of Jesus, you know, let us live with that eternal perspective in mind. You know, it's a new year, we all have New Year's resolutions, but then I'm reminded of 1 Peter 4, 7. You know, it says that the end of all things is near, so therefore be alert and be sober-minded so that you may pray, right? You know, as I think of that, I'm reminded, Nadesh, in this new year, let us be watchful and prayerful, recognizing the urgency of the time that we are in, and really let us prioritize the relationship with Jesus Christ, seeking His guidance and His wisdom. As we navigate through the challenges and opportunities that lies ahead of us, and we're excited about studying a new year with New Year's resolution and so forth, as we seek God in this new year, let us be intentional in sharing His love, His truth with others. And also his truth with ourselves because it's easy for us to go out there and share the word. But we ourselves need to also believe the word. And I was like, man, that is so powerful. I need to believe what I'm saying. You understand? In Matthew 28, 19, 20, it says that Jesus, Jesus commissions us saying, go and make disciples of all nations, right? Teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Let us be bold in our faith, sharing the hope of the gospel. It's truly making a difference in the lives of others around us. I'm truly excited for this new year. I'm excited for that level of intimacy that we're going to form with Jesus Christ. So in seeking God and living with the imminent return of Jesus in mind, let us cultivate a heart of readiness and anticipation. You know, like a woman is anticipating getting married and he's excited and cannot wait. Let us have that same anticipation for the coming of Jesus Christ. You see, in Revelation 22, 20, it says, Jesus declares, yes, I am coming soon. May this truly ignite in us a sense of urgency and excitement within us to motivate us to live a life each day with purpose and intentionality, you know, as we seek God and await the coming of Jesus, let us remember that our ultimate hope and fulfillment are found in Him and Him alone. So as you have different goals and aspirations in mind, keep that in view. You know, let us fix our eyes on Him, trusting in His promises and living in a way that truly reflects that anticipation that we have that He's coming soon. You know, when a woman is getting ready for marriage and she's engaged, there's a level of preparation that she does. She does it with excitement. Despite of what the little inks along the way, she's ready. You see, in this new year, let us seek God wholeheartedly. Live with the reality of Jesus' imminent return. And be faithful in fulfilling that great commission. Truly, may our lives be a testimony of His love, of His grace, and truth. You know, as we eagerly await His return, I hope that you are awaiting His return. My prayer for you is that Christ is the center and the anchor of it all. In this new year, live boldly, wholeheartedly for Jesus and Jesus alone. May your heart be blessed.